Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create buttons in the Flutter. Basically we are going to create three types of buttons. The first one is the elevated button, then we are going to talk about outline button and the text button. In Flutter we have multiple types of buttons like we learned how to add the icon button in our previous videos about the icons. You can get the link down below in the description or from the right top corner. So we are not going to talk about that button again. So we are going to cover these three basic buttons. This video is going to be very useful because we have to use these types of buttons in our applications in our almost every application. So let's get started. We are in section two and we are about to create the fifth video of this section. Open Android Studio and we are inside the project we created in our previous tutorials. If you are new to this playlist, please uh, watch the previous videos link is down below in the description or from the right top corner so let's get started uh, head towards the dashboard and in here you can see that we created a container in our previous tutorial so we are not going to remove this code so instead of calling this dashboard in here in the material app let's go to screens inside the lib we created screens and create a new file let's say this time it's home.dart and in here we know that we have to create material.dart package and then to create a stateless widget we have stl this is a stateless shortcut hit enter and give it a name i'm going to give it a home name in here you can see it's being written in container so first go to home main.dart and change this dashboard to home hit enter and it is going to add this package for us and if it is not going to add the package you just need screens slash home dot dart so head towards the home dot dart let's just add a scaffold and in the inside the scaffold we know that as a child and with the semicolon as a child we have a body of the whole screen which is home screen and as a body let me just add center so this center is currently covering the whole area of the screen so whatever will be in the center will be actually at the center of the screen so as a child i am going to pass elevated button so this is the first button with the elevation and the background by default this error is because we have two missing features that are required by this button over over this and you can see the first one is child which is required and the on pressed which is required so we can also see that this required is here which is on pressed and also required for the child widget so we will create it press control space the first one is child to create a child child is basically whatever will be inside this button so for this tutorial make it simple text let's begin and the another required property is on pressed so to create an empty function we just have to pass first the brackets of the function and then what will be inside this function so it's empty make it simple now let's see how our button looks like let's run the application and you can see that our button has been created with the let's begin property okay now next inside this button press control space we have a style property and also you can see at the bottom we have on long press which is going to get the long press of the user i think it's about three seconds i'm not sure we'll talk about that in our upcoming videos so go for the style now inside this style we have elevated button style so to create that style elevated button dot style from and inside you can see at the top we have bunch of options and also by pressing control space you can see the list of options that we are going to talk about so let's get started with the padding here to increase the padding of our system so we know how to add paddings and margins using edge insects dot all i'm going to make it 20 in double save it you can see the size of the button increase and also now we want to make the width of the button a little bigger so how we can do that we have a size here which is fixed size and we can give that fixed size using this size property so we have two features of the size the one is width comma height and if we only want to give the width we also have size dot from width from height copy some other resources from radius etc so let's give width and height to both height so make it 80 
and then we have width let's make it sorry the first one is width actually so let's say we want 300 in width and 80 in height let's save the code and you can see that our button has increased actually now further to see the text more clearly we have text style which is going to add enhance the text of this button so as a text style we have text style property now inside this text style we previously learned in our first flutter app that how we can deal with all these things so for this i am going to just enhance the size 25 and i'm going to make it font weight a bit bold and you can see that our text is a bit bigger and clear the next thing that we want to change is we want to change the background of our button so let's say we have not inside this text style but inside this elevated button style from let me turn this text style into one line by removing this comma press ctrl alt l and you can see it's in single line now let's say we next want to add change the background color so in here we don't have color or the background color property for that we have a primary property this is actually a color colors dot let's say we want to add yellow color to our button as you can see that we added yellow background to our button but in here you can see that our text is not visible now what we want to change is on primary because uh, it means whatever is on the primary means whatever is on this yellow color now it's going to be black and you can see that our text is now black the next thing is we want to enhance this button or to give shadow to this button so for that we first have to give elevation let's say i'm going to elevation of 15 and you can see that elevation has been added now for example we want to change the shadow color so we also have a shadow color property and let's give it a yellow it is going to look ugly but that's how we change the shadow color next let's say we want to add border to our button so to add a side property we have border side and inside you can see we have three colors uh, three options sorry not colors the first one is going to be color of the border let's make it black then we have width let's let's say we want two doubles and also border style is by default solid so let's save the code and you can see that border has been added to our button the next thing we want to change alignment of this text let's say we don't want the text to be center so by default it's center and for that we have alignment not x and y dot we have bunch of options here let's say we want to make it the bottom center at the missing comma let's save the code and you can see that it's now on the bottom center so using this property alignment we also talked in our previous videos in detail that how we can align to all the sides or to any side which we want for example top left so by this way we can add alignment let's just comment it using control backslash now the next thing that we want to add is for example we want to change the shape of our button so we have a shape property here as well which is going to give our borders a bit more round for example we want a circular border so for the shape we have circle border and in here we don't have to pass anything save the code and you can see that our radius has been shrinked down to circle so in here we definitely not going to pass the text so instead we can pass icon here this is how we add the icons and you can see that our icon button has been added so basically we created this elevated button to icon button so head back okay now we can change this circle border border to rectangle border we have rounded rectangle border beaver rectangle border continuous rectangle border so let's say go for the rounded rectangle border you can see there's no change in here we have to add this border radius and the change will be immediately we can see and we also have side which is going to basically add side same like that we have added here so i'm not going to go in detail so by this way we can change and we also have 
this stadium border which is very sweet i guess save the code and it is going to turn that corners or the edges of that button to a stadium shape i guess so that's how we can change to circle border to rectangle border to stadium border now let's say we want to add icon inside our button how we can do that in next to this elevated button we have this icon property and now uh, this child is giving an error because we cannot add child here in the dot icon property comment it now what is required inside this control space and you can see two options two new options one is the icon and one is label so first let's add the icon here and again I'm going to add this card here as an icon and next we have label as a text copy this one and paste it here let's save the code and you can see that we have added successfully icon to our button for example you want to because we already covered almost all the properties of this elevated button how we can change that icon towards the right side for example we want that icon to to the right side of this let's begin so how we can do that we cannot directly add that in the elevated button dot icon basically to move that icon to the right side we have two major options using this dot icon property we have to wrap it add a widget and search for directionality and inside this widget we have this text direction and we will change that text direction to text direction dot right to left save it and now you can see that it's basically going to switch the places icon is now on the right side and this is the one way that we can do for example you don't want to add this directionality let's remove it so for that you just you also have to remove this dot icon because we don't need this comment it enable this child now as this child we are not going to pass the text here we are going to create a row here because you did not learn how to create a row i'm not going to teach you because the next video is typically about the row and the column so let's say i'm going to create a row row has multiple children's inside this we want to first add let me copy it first children is the text and the second children is this icon let's save the code and you can see the row starts from the most left side and it is covering basically it's covering the whole space because row starts from left to right so the text and the icon is at the left so let's say we want to make this anything in the row is at the center so again you don't have to get confused about this row because we will talk in detail about the row in next video so main axis alignment about the row is axis alignment dot center whatever is in the row make it center so by this way we can add icon text whatever we want to like we want to like to add in the child inside the button so okay now let's jump towards our second button which is the outline button add the outline button i'm going to save it and you will see no change exactly no change because i have already added the primary color comment it and elevation we have to comment it you can see that border is right there if you want to remove that border it's your choice but by default you will see a border a very light border as an outline button border so we don't have to add all these properties for this outline button it will be added by default so that's why i'm using this style from these all properties are valid for the outline button and same way we can use text button let's save it and you can see that those borders basically given by default are also gone this is the maximum different of these three buttons now you can see that we have this little ripple effect here for the button so this is basically a text button we are going to remove this style from here let's cut it let's save the code and you can see that we have by default the text button like this so let's add it back now for example we want to make that button disabled at the very end the last topic so in the on press we are not going to pass the function actually we are going to pass null and this null is going to disable the button for us and you can see that button color has been changed now let's 
change that button to elevated button save the code and you can see that we cannot press it basically it don't have any ripple effect or the ink effect and this means that this button or the text button or or the outline button is disabled so that's how we disabled anything in flutter so at the end i hope you learn something new and if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because the series is going on and more amazing videos coming up next in the next tutorial so again thank you for watching take care allah hafiz